Hi, I'm Bill Gellman, site runner for Play NJ here at Resorts Atlantic City for Atlantic City Boardwalk. And I'm David Danzis, lead writer of Play NJ. We've got a great episode lined up for you this week. We've got Mark Giantonio, the president and CEO of Resorts Casino Hotel. We've also had Ed Andrews, who's the CEO of Resorts Digital Gaming. And we're really gonna dive into to some numbers and to some online predictions with Ed. And Mark's gonna talk to us a lot about what's going on here in Atlantic City. But before we get to that, Bill, you and I have a couple of things that we need to talk about here. And we're gonna start with, what is our first topic? What are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with um, two of the newest properties in town, Hard Rock and Ocean, but well, they are the two newest. Um, they just celebrated three years. Correct. And I don't think, it's a pretty big deal because if you look back, they were both failed properties at one time. And you, know, you wrote a story for Playing Jay that went up and tell us a little bit about, you know, the turnaround and, and, and how it helps the Atlantic City market as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Hard Rock is the what was the former Trump Taj Mahal and Ocean Casino Resort is what was the former Revel Casino Hotel. And, you know, in different ways, uh, both of these properties were sort of haunted by ghosts of, of past failures, if you will, um, for completely different reasons. You know, Trump actually, the Taj Mahal, Trump Taj Mahal actually had a very successful run for, for o over a decade. Um, unfortunately, it was one of the properties that closed in 2016, along with a handful of others here in Atlantic City, including Revel. Revel is arguably the biggest commercial gaming flop in the history of gambling in the United States. So to see that property be turned around and reopened as a successful, thriving property in Ocean Casino Resort is really encouraging. And Hard Rock, Hard Rock, uh, they're not taking any prisoners here in Atlantic City, right? They, right. they came in, and they weren't content with just being part of the market. They really wanted to, to sit atop it, right. and, and they're almost there. Right. They're number two in the market, Ocean's number three, uh, behind only Borgata, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, is pretty much untouchable at this point. Right. But in terms of land-based uh, game gambling revenue, Hard Rock and Ocean are right there nipping at Borgata's heels. So those two properties being health healthy and successful um, really is adding a lot to Atlantic City these days. Right. And I was down on a recent Saturday night, and it was just hard rock, which is packed with wall-to-wall -wall people. And it's, it's just, after, especially after last year, it's just great to see that life is, is, is normalcy is returning as we, the summer season is heating yeah. up. And, and this is really gonna be the test for, you know, how far these properties will go now, because this is, this is the big months that they count on. And you know, we're here at Resorts Casino Hotel and, and not just here, but in other properties across the city, they're reinvesting in their properties to get people here because people haven't been here for a year, a year and a half, or they're coming back and it's the first time they're coming without a mask and no social distancing. Um, what, what's happening here at Resorts? Well, there's actually, we can actually see down the hall from where we're sitting, there's a brand new steakhouse, uh, Dockery's and, and, and Raw Bar, I should, don't forget about the Raw Bar. Can't forget about and, the Raw Bar. And those who are unfamiliar with Dockery family, they're the family behind the very famous Knife and Fork Inn in Atlantic City and um, Doc's Oyster House. Mm -hmm. Both, those are what we consider Atlantic City landmarks. So here you have a historic restaurant family teaming up with the oldest casino in town and it just seems like a match made in heaven. Yep, yep. And before we before we wrap up this episode, there is one more piece of, of news, if you will, that we probably need to touch on. Um, and that's the, the, the last little piece of the puzzle for Atlantic City to be completely back to normal. And uh, we're talking about smoking, right? Um, as of this moment of, of filming this episode, you know, to the most up-to-date information that we have is that New Jersey's public health emergency orders will expire on July 3rd. Based on that, smoking should be able to come back into the casinos. Governor Murphy has been a little hesitant to really weigh in fully on that. He hasn't really given a whole lot of clarity and guidance. We all know that the Atlantic City casinos want to bring smoking back. They, they consider it a competitive business advantage to have it. Um, I think before too long, we're gonna see people lighting up again in casinos here in Atlantic City. Right, and I think it's only time because if you go to a, a casino, you know, gambling, drinking, smoking, I mean, it's, it's all, you don't have to do any of it, but it's all, they sort of run yeah. hand in hand and Pennsylvania just brought back smoking to their casino, so it, 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 it. 
It's a matter of when it's going to happen, not if it's going to happen. You know, there, there was a, um, a demonstration, if you will, not too long ago on the Atlantic City Boardwalk, a group called Smoke Free Casinos. You know, they're advocating on behalf of casino employees and workers who don't smoke and they don't want them to be exposed to that in their work environment. Atlantic City is one of the few places in New Jersey where you can still smoke indoors. There's a handful of other sort of uh, exceptions to the rule, but by and large, New Jersey is a smoke-free state. Um, Atlantic City casinos are, are hanging on to that. You're allowed to smoke at 25% of the casino floor. They have to be designated areas. They want that. They're not willing to let go of it. This, this could be kind of a, a, a tug of war going back and forth and something to keep an eye on going forward. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a hot topic, no matter how the thing unfolds. Yes. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Like I said, stay tuned for our interviews with Mark Giantonio and Ed Andrews. Don't forget to like uh, this page, the Play USA page. Please subscribe to this page as well if you like these videos. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much. Yeah, uh, the new normal has been fabulous. I mean, we, you know, the, the, the one area that we always pride ourselves is to provide the very highest level of customer service to our uh, loyal patrons, new patrons, and, you know, our, our team has done a remarkable job ensuring that when you visit resorts, um, you know, you're really you're taken care of uh, with a level of precision service uh, that's, to me, second to none. Yeah, it's a great question. We, you know, we contemplated many, many scenarios of how uh, we would handle things once the restrictions were off. And it was all about reinvesting in our property and our team members. So, um, you know, one of, the one of the concerns was how do we make the cleanest air prop, uh, uh, possible on the casino floor? So we invested over a million dollars on our air uh, bipolar ionization and UV technology in our air handlers. Um, We've implemented a, a series of initiatives. Um, we have a new restaurant, uh, uh, new uh, electronic table games on the casino floor. So we wanted to stay one step ahead of uh, the competition so that when people did feel comfortable about coming back, they were coming back to a new experience. Situated here in what I believe is the most beautiful part of town, uh, it, it only made sense for us to collaborate on trying to promote this part of town, the, new, the North Beach. So working with uh, our partners at Hard Rock and Ocean, Steel Pier, the Orange Loop on Tennessee Avenue and so forth, we're really able to put some marketing initiatives together uh, that I think will enhance the overall experience to a consumer. They'll, as we promote this part of town, they'll really be able to come to town an experience they haven't been part of, uh, you know, resorts or ocean or Hard Rock or Tennessee Avenue or Still Pier. They really are going to be in for a treat. Uh, we this past weekend we put up an incredible fireworks display uh, on Friday night, which was a collaborative effort amongst all of us, and it really was amazing. The part of town was very very busy, and uh, so uh, we think it makes a lot of sense. To do. Yeah, so again, another one of our major initiatives. Uh, very early on, um, even prior to the pandemic, um, I, I was in discussions with the Doherty family. And uh, the fact that here they are in the middle of a pandemic, making a major investment with our property. So, you know, the Doherty family runs the Knife and Fork, own and operates the Knife and Fork, Docks, uh, Oyster House, and other uh, locations. And it only made sense to me to really partner with this family uh, to have them replace what was there and uh, created just an incredible concept, Dockery Steakhouse on Raw Bar, uh, and have done an incredible job. They have a, a huge local following, um, and every single one of our customers that have been through there, loyal uh, casino customers, has just love the experience. So they take the whole um, restaurant experience to a, a, a new level, and it's perfect because it really couples uh, what we do in Capriccio, which as uh, many of you may know, is the number one rated casino restaurant in America, uh, as voted on by USA Today readers. So, you know, I, th I really think it's, it's a great enhancement. Yeah, 
yeah, just another uh, a great uh, project that I believe uh, will really enhance this property uh, this summer. So when you look at our casino floor off the boardwalk, we have a state-of-the-art sports book, the DraftKings sports book at resorts. It's an amazing uh, place to, to play sports, watch sports, and be entertained. Uh, but we really felt like we needed something for that younger demographic that might be in the sports book that maybe isn't accustomed to playing uh, a table game. Uh, we put a, a gamut of 19 different uh, uh, electronic table games, uh, which includes craps, roulette, uh, mini baccarat, and blackjack, uh, very close to the sports book. And it's been a very big success since it's opened. Uh, in addition, on Casino Floor, we added a brand new electronic uh, craps game which is like state of the art. I mean, people really, uh, just immediately, the, the, the game has just been very well, uh, well received. And I can tell you, um, I'm very pleased with the uh, output of this game. Well, I mean, Dave, just for your audience, if you have not been to this part of town, if you haven't been to resorts, I would implore you to take a look at resorts. Although we were the first uh, casino open in 1978, you would never know it here. Um, we invest an awful lot of money here that's uh, really kept the property uh, up uh, to standards that I think anybody uh, going to a fine location would, would uh, say that we are. And um, I would say come and give us a check out and uh, stay in our hotel. The rooms have been all renovated. Um, we have an amazing beach bar, uh, the Landshark uh, Bar and Grill uh, and Margaritaville restaurant. So. Uh, come down and give us a, a look at and, uh, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I think, you know, it goes without saying, you know, COVID has made a big difference to us business. We're very cognizant that it's hit other businesses hard, not least the the on-property casino business, but certainly from an online point of view, it's been widely documented. It's been an incredible 18 months, really. Uh, and I think, you know, I think it's a sort of combination of, of player groups actually trying something new, new during, during, during the COVID lockdown period. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of those customers have stuck around, enjoyed the experience, and are still online gaming now. I think, you know, as resorts, we were we were in a good position to make maximum use of it. We've got we've got great partners under our license, DraftKings, PokerStars, and 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 our own two brands, ResortsCasino.com and MoheganSunCasino.com, both performed extremely well. And I think, you know, it sort of shows the gamut of customers who are coming on. Like you had the sort of more male skewed sportsbook customers more likely to play table games and there were no sports on. So they were trying out like some blackjack roulette and the other table games. So, so we had that through DraftKings. Poker, online poker suddenly really took off as well. I think, you know, people had the time to enter tournaments and dedicated that time for sort of, you know, longer poker sessions. And then, you know, again, our customers, you know, they weren't able to come on to the bricks and mortars and, and our customers, which are more older demographic, more female base were able to come on, enjoyed the online experience. And a lot of them tried it out and, and, and stayed. And, and, you know, they're still, now the casinos are back open. They're still, you know, very much taking those trips as well down to the shore. You know, we make up a, an important part of the gross gaming revenue that comes under our license. Um, I think I think we differ from our partners in that we are very much on the uh, female, more slots orientated, possibly a slightly more senior demographic um, of those slots players. And and you know we offer a very different product from um, from the from other our other uh, partners under our license. Um, we've been kind of really busy, you know, increasing our range of content. Actually, both on the table game side and on the slot side. We've now started developing titles with content partners that are exclusive to us and we own the rights to them. Jersey Devil Slots is one, which is our kind of concept and proved very popular. And we've gone on with very different promotions from, from maybe some of the sports-led brands. 
Um, we have a great loyalty scheme. We tied in very nicely with the property. Um, so, so yeah, really sort of increasing our range of content. And I think we're almost at the stage now where we've kind of got enough content. So we've been really focused on getting the really good content, you know, in front of our customers quickly and easily. So we've had a we've had a site um, layout redesign, which has you know proved very successful. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's a dead cert as a bet, Bill. I mean, it, it kind of we very nearly got there in in December last year during the NFL season, and if you kind of do on the light for light months where where outside of the COVID shutdown of sports, you can see there's been a huge increase. I think you know I think we'll see a billion dollar handle month in in September and going on through the NFL season without a doubt. So so I think that's a that's a certainty. I see you know it's been staggering growth over the last year. If you take out um, the, the the lockdown where there were no sporting events taking place. I see the growth going on. Um, I don't see it necessarily as meteoric as it has been, but definite still still growth in the sector. And I think that'll be driven now by product developments and product enhancements. And most of the sports but products out there now are, 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 are very solid. But I think you know, particularly things like live betting, um, um, prop bets within the live live betting environment will just increase the handle and increase the enjoyment to customers. So, so yeah, I mean, billion dollar handle month is a certainty and, and uh, you know, steady growth through next year is, is also going to happen. You know, it's kind of, you know, really exciting times for our brands, resortscasino.com and mohegansuncasino.com. We are a very different proposition from the more sports first brands you know we are really cater for the for, for, for those players who enjoy the slots and, and 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 you know we're determined to keep rolling out the content we've got some great exclusive games where we own the ip more of those coming on board we're enhancing our live dealer product which has proved very successful um you know something we're really excited about is a joint loyalty scheme across both on property and online. We do lots of sort of joint promotions at the moment, but a real omni-channel loyalty scheme where we recognize the, the, the good customers for on property online and vice versa. Um, a fully integrated solution is something we're working, we're working hard on. So yeah, still plenty going on with us and um, looking forward to another, another good 12 months.